Welcome back to your ACCAF5 trainee videos. In order to uh, reinforce your knowledge on uh, the ABC method, I have drawn up for you an example on the screen and I would like you to go together, go through the example together with me. The example is a fairly simple one, though it's really close to an exam standard question in terms of the quantity of the figures and the quantity of the calculations that you will have to do during this exercise. So what we have on the screen, we have a company that manufactures products A and B. These are our two products, A and B. Uh, what we know and how the direct material costs per unit are calculated, this is subject to F2. It's not really likely to be examined in F5. Uh, we just have it as a figure. So the direct material costs per unit are $12 for an A and $24 for a B. Um, it can include, um, I don't know, raw materials, other materials, any kind of direct materials that go into our products. Then we have direct labor hours per unit. This means that the number of hours that are necessary from our workers to work on product A and B in order to finish those. Number of orders, this is the number of orders from the client side. How many orders did the clients place towards our company in terms of product A and product B? Then we have the number of batches. The number of patches is 12 for A and 120 for B. Number of patches please make a difference. The patches are in terms of manufacturing. This is the amount of, uh, let's say, um, the, the number of patches that we manufacture. So we will manufacture the total quantity of 1200 product A's in 12 patches. That means that we're actually producing 100 product A's in a batch and the 1200 product B's in 120 patches, meaning that we are manufacturing actually only 10 product B's in a batch. We, have, we might have certain reasons for this, for example, inventory costs, like inventory holding costs. It's very expensive to hold B's, so up until we don't have a certain order for a B, we are not manufacturing it because it, it will cost us a lot to keep that amount of uh, inventory on stock. Then we have parts per unit. Uh, this is additional information you will, you will see that we need for, um, for the calculations. It means that, for example, the number of direct material parts that will go into unit, it's one unit for, uh, or one part for one unit of product A and three parts for product B. And then we have number of setups per batch, one setup for the product A per batch and two setups for um, product B. Now further information that you need for solving this exercise is the production and sales. This is 1,200 12, for each of the products A and B. Additional information, please note this down on your notebook um, and stop the recording if necessary. Note that down on the notebook because you'll need this information when we go through this exercise. Further information is given to us relating to the overheads of the company. So the total annual overheads of the company is $512,230, which can be broken down into several activities. Now please remember what was ABC about. When we discussed about ABC, we said that using the traditional method, what we do is we absorb overheads into our um, cost of production, the cost card of a unit, based on one single amount, that's usually labor hours or produced units. In this situation, when we want to calculate the uh, total production cost using the traditional method, it will be labor hours. Uh, but in terms of ABC costing, what we are going to do, we are going to split up the, uh, oops, sorry for that, we are going to split up the uh, whole amount of overheads, that's the 512,230, that's going to be split 